This guy's gonna hurt somebody. Court Pierce frantically talking to 911 after seeing a forklift flying through the fence of an Enid construction site. The fence is out in the middle of the road. He just came plowing through it. I'm actually behind the vehicle. I decided to turn and follow him. Tracking the lift through downtown streets, driving a minivan, others heading to work, not knowing what was coming. He almost ran me over. Um, the gentleman in the minivan was yelling at me to get out of the way. Watch out! Watch out! Police having trouble finding the forklift as it weaved through parking lots, but Pierce still hot on its trail. Do you want me to subdue this guy? No. Let me see where my officer is. Where are they at? Oh, this is a bad deal. Well, on a Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock, I don't think the police department's ready for a call that, you know, that there's going to be such a serious chase. A pursuit, but not much of a chase. It was a very low speed pursuit, probably 10 to 15 miles per hour. Clearly, you can't stop a vehicle. I mean, it's like it's the size of a tank. Dash cam video shows the slow chase lasting only about 15 minutes before the forklift gave out. Not caught on camera was the arrest of this man, 23-year-old Garrett Anderson, who was allegedly high on drugs. I was really concerned about the citizens here of Enid. He luckily didn't run over me, but what if he ran over somebody else? Pierce, grateful no one was hurt, but disappointed he couldn't do more. I wish I had taken control of the forklift. I couldn't have controlled him, but I could have stopped the vehicle off the roadway. He is a good Samaritan for realizing that something was wrong, and he not only looked out for myself, but he looked out for my coworkers.